lecture of our special guest today, Professor Jeffrey Sachs, who has flown here from Katowice from the COP meeting to meet and talk with us. And my encounter with this, his reading was in one of the most unlikely places. I was in a small village in Nepal some decade ago, and I was after 10 days of trekking, and I gave away all my books because it was obvious they were too heavy. And I started to miss books, so I came into a little village and asked somebody if they have any book in English that I could actually read. And they said, yeah, there's this book without a cover, somebody left it, <laughs> so you can take it. And it looked pretty heavy, so I said, I don't think so, but okay, let's look at it. I opened it and the first chapter I saw was Poland's Return to Europe. And I said, oh, I take it. <laughs> Now, you were so kind to pick it up in the village, but just remember, someone left it behind. <laughs> of course, after having read it many times. How do we make diplomacy work? How do we make it work to actually solve problems? How do we get international cooperation to be effective, not to break down? Uh, and the answer is, it's really hard and diplomats play a really important role in this if things work well. And uh, I have spent a lot of my time during the last uh, 19 years in particular at the United Nations uh, because I believe in diplomacy. And I can tell you after 9-11 hit the United States, my first impulse and Sonia's first impulse was I called Kofi Annan and said, how can I help you? And he said, please uh, help advise me on the Millennium Development Goals. And that's how it happened. I was thrilled to meet with this group of young diplomats. What an astounding group. How talented, how interesting, how bright, how engaged. And uh, these are the diplomats of the future that are going to play a huge role in this world. So for me, it's a real privilege to have the chance to speak with them. About the first section we had, which was more about like the public diplomacy. So it's more of like introducing us to know much about what needs, what a diplomat needs to, um, the message he has to portray outside. Meeting so many people from different countries, different backgrounds, and it's very inspiring. This kind of course is very beneficial to start and make you know, progress as a professional and a personal life.